Hey y'all, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. Today I have something that's been requested a lot and I finally found a box of it. It is the Federal Fusion 140 grain load in 6.5 Creedmoor. And here is the box for that 6.5 Creedmoor Federal Fusion 140 grain bonded soft point with your little deer logo. This is one of my most requested ammo tests, so I'm really looking forward to testing it out and showing you guys how it does. Here is your promo information right there about the Fusion Bullet. Feel free to stop, pause, and read all that if you would like to. Coming on over here, we've got your ballistics table muzzle velocity listed at 2725 feet per second. We'll see how close we get to that. Let's go ahead and open this up, take a look yank out one of the loads here one of the bullets and as per standard it has your blue primer sealant right there for federal ammo nice long 6.5 creedmoor bullet 140 grain let's go shoot it and see how it does and the test rifle today is my ruger american chambered in 6.5 creedmoor of course it's got a 22 inch barrel up top i've got a leopold vx freedom 3 to 9 by 40 Yes, this is the same Ruger American I've used for all my 6.5 Creedmoor tests. I just did a little bit of a Krylon camo paint job on the stock. And coming on back, of course, I've got one of my Mason Leather cartridge cuffs. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would absolutely love to make you one. And coming around to the other side, I want to show you. I've got my wild boar design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And let's look at the velocities for that Federal Fusion 140 grain out of the 6.5 Creedmoor. Our high was 26.45, our low 25.99, and our average was 26.22. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that much requested Federal Fusion 140 grain load out of the 6.5 Creedmoor. And I did manage to capture all three bullets. We got a little bit of variance in penetration, but they're all good. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So starting with the shallowest right there, we got about 20 and a half, well, I'll give it 21 inches. Then the next one, which is right there, I'll give that one 22 and a half inches. And then this last one made it all the way to about 25 and a half inches. So, I mean, that's about as deep as you need it to go. That performs very favorably against uh, a whole lot, a lot of other ammo that I have tested. I like it. And it looks like we got some very good expansion too. That one right there looks like a perfect little star like all fusion bullets tend to. So let's go over and look at the first block. We have some pretty nasty here let me move this tape measure out of the way we've got some pretty nasty wound cavities in there it opens up pretty quick expands out balloons out and then tapers off and just keeps on penetrating i meant to actually measure that for y'all so here i'll put the tape measure back looks like it starts expanding out pretty solid at about the one and a half inch mark you got big old wound cavity going all the way back starts to taper off then really by 11 inches to 12 inches it's done kind of starts to taper off past nine a little bit too all in all pretty good performance let's dig them out and take a look and here they are one of the most requested loads to be tested on my channel the federal fusion 140 grain 6.5 creed more load we recovered all three bullets let's hit the metrics weight retention wise we saw 135 136 and 138 grains for an average of 136 grains that's 97 percent weight retention right up there on par with every other load i've tried for federal fusion it just keeps performing it keeps being an excellent bullet with very consistent weight retention and expansion these things look pretty dang good expansion wise we saw 0.67 
0.76 and 0.81 inches expanded diameter for an average of 0.75 inches. So there is a little bit of variability. You'll notice on that bullet on the right there, especially two of the expansion pedals really folded back hard. And then on that bullet on the far left, that one curled around a lot more than the other two as well. So a little bit of variability on the expansion with this particular fusion load. Overall, it works out to 2.8x expansion. And even with the least expanded bullet, it's still pretty darn good and well over 2x expansion. Velocity wise, our high velocity was 2645. Our low was 2599 for an average of 2622 versus the factory build velocity of 2725. So we did come in 103 feet per second slow out of the 22 inch barrel of my Ruger American, but hey, most, the vast majority of hunting rifles in 6.5 Creedmoor have a 22 inch barrel. I know there's a bunch out there with 24s, but it is not the majority. And really coming in 103 feet per second slow, that's sort of par for the course for factory ammo. That's just fine. I'm happy with it. And on to penetration, we saw 21 inches, 22 and a half inches, and 25 and a half inches of penetration for an average of 23 inches of penetration. Absolutely perfect for medium game. That's right there in that 20 plus inch range I like to see for white tailed deer hogs, stuff like that. And kinetic energy wise, with a 140 grain bullet going on average 2,622 feet per second, that works out to 2,137 foot pounds at the muzzle. All right, y'all, there she blows. Time for my final thoughts on the Federal Fusion 140 grain 6.5 Creed Mora load. I keep saying it, there's been so many people that have requested this. I'm very pleased to have been able to finally bring you this video and these results. So let's talk about it. I mean, it's Federal Fusion. Need I say more, it tends to just perform across the board, unlike some other kinds of ammo that we won't mention here. If you've seen my videos, you know what I'm talking about. But Fusion just performs across weights, across calibers. It just doesn't matter. It keeps winning. And this 6.5 Creed more 140 grain version is no exception. Weight retention was excellent, 97% weight retention. Expansion was massive, 2.8x expansion. And it was fairly consistent across the three recovered bullets. They all expanded very well, very wide, all three of them. Velocity wise, we came in a little bit slow, 103 feet per second slow versus box spec. I'm using a 22 inch barreled Ruger American. If you've got a 24 inch barreled, you know, target rifle or something, no doubt you'd come a little bit closer. It is what it is. Most 6.5 Creedmoor hunting rifles have 22 inch barrels. That's why I use that rifle to test this stuff with. I'm pretty happy with it. Penetration wise, it also did really good. 23 inches on average with one going all the way to 25 and a half inches, all three bullets were past the 20 inch mark, which is what I like to see for medium game hunting ammo. This stuff hit all the marks. I thought that it would and it did. All in all, if I was hunting with a 6.5 Creedmoor, this stuff, this Federal Fusion 140 grain, if it shot accurately enough in my rifle, would be a top contender. And check out my website, masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also tons of photos showing all the customizable options including name, initial, and caliber stamping as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.